Hello, my fellow YouTube tech community. This is Tech Gamer bringing you some ga TDM gameplay of Battlefield 3, and today we are going to take a first look at the AMD Radeon 7790 and how it goes up against the NVIDIA GTX 650 Ti Boost. Now, both cards were announced this month, and both have their special details along with them. Along with that, both cards are meant to deliver sweet spot or 1080p high settings gaming for a great price. So first up, we got the 7790, a new graphics card announced by AMD. Now here are the specs of the 7790. As you can see, these specs place the 7790 right between the 7770 and 7850. Here are some extra details that should be considered. This GPU matches the rumors of the Xbox 720's GPU, or the new Xbox. Um, it has about 25% better power than the GTX 650 Ti, and uses the new Bone Air GPU, combination of the Tahiti 7900 series GPU, and Pitcairn, the 7800 GPU, reduced to the bandwidth size of the Cape Verde, or 7700 GPU. It will also be sold with a free copy of Bioshock Infinite, which I think is really good. And it comes in a 1GB and 2GB configuration because it's mainly the purpose for a 1080p gaming. The price range will start at $150 for 1GB and $170 for 2GB. So my question to consider is, will it be able to crossfire with the 7770 and 7750? because the 7700 GPUs use the K Verde GPU and this new 7790 uses the Bone Air GPU. Now let's move on to the GTX 650 Ti Boost, another new card announced by Nvidia this month and I find it amazing that they released it right after the 7790 was announced. Now here are the specs of the GTX 650 Ti Boost. These specs place the card between the 650 Ti and the GTX 660 which is a perfect combination between the two so here are some extra details to be considered the card is actually comparable against the 7850 and it can SLI unlike the 650 Ti meaning it can use dual C GPU configuration it also comes with a $75 in-game credit for three titles the World of Tanks, Hawken, and Planetside 2 and finally it comes with a 1GB and 2GB configuration the price range will start at 150 for 1 gigabyte and 170 for 2 gigabyte, just like the 7790. So my question to consider for this GPU is, will future drivers make it more powerful than the 7850? And don't get me wrong, the 7850 is still a stronger GPU overall at this time. But, like I said, future drivers could make the NVIDIA GTX 650 Ti Boost a better card for a better price. So when comparing both cards, I look for the advantages and disadvantages of both cards. So for the advantages of both cards, the 7790's advantages are that it comes with a free copy of Bioshock Infinite and that the card has a better power consumption. On the other hand, the GTX 650 Ti Boost has a better advantage because it is 25% faster than the 7790. So what are the disadvantages of both cards? 7790 is not as fast as the 650 Ti Boost and is actually weaker. The 650 Ti Boost has a weaker free game bundle. While it does supply a $75 in-game credit for World of Tanks, Hawken, and Planetside 2, it can't be the free price of Bioshock Infinite, which in my opinion looks like and is an amazing game. So who wins and why does it win? Well as a result, of course, the GTX 650 Ti Boost wins this battle. Although the 7790 offers a better power consumption and a better game bundle, the 650 Ti Boost wins because it offers an overall faster performance rate for the same price as the 7790. So what do I think about both cards? Well, I think both cards are great while they have their advantages and disadvantages. The 7790 is a great new addition to AMD's lineup, but falls short to NVIDIA's new solution of the GTX 650 Ti Boost. But the price range is, this is my idea. Once both cards are released and are ready to sell, retailers will probably put rebates on the cards in about three weeks. The 7770s will hit the 90 to 110 dollar area. The 650 Ti will go for 120 dollars. The 7790 will go for around 130 dollars after a rebate, followed by the GTX 650 Ti Boost 
for $140 after rebate. This will place a 7A50 for the $150 area. But these are just for the 1 gigabyte versions. The 2 gigabyte versions are another concern that I'll leave to the retailers. Well, my fellow Texan viewers, that is all. I hope you found this video interesting and good for my first actual commentary. Thanks for watching and please comment, like, and subscribe for more.